did you know there's a clay called precious metal clay that turns some clay into silver when you heat it? Silver. You can get silver, you can get copper, you can even get gold and it turns into real metal. And I'm going to show you how to do it on my small wheel and using the microwave to heat the pot. Then it's going to be a little pendant for my necklace made completely of metal, but it starts as clay. So let's open up the packet here. These are really expensive, they're about £30 each. Um, hopefully they're worth it. And then inside here, because you've got to keep it nice and moist, it's wrapped, wrapped and wrapped again. And you can see it looks a bit like blue tack or someone's discarded chewing gum, but that's actually clay that's made of metal dust, compacted together. And then once it becomes a pot, I'm going to heat it and the clay's going to burn away, leaving just the metal. And that's what's going to go on my chain, hopefully. So here we go. Start slow with your throwing. So start by throwing the vase and this clay is tricky. It's a bit like throwing chewing gum or blue tack. So go slow. I've sped this up because it was a bit boring, but go slow and use as many tools as you need to to form that small vase. And the clay will actually pick up such minute details, including your fingerprints if you wanted to go that fine. I just want some handles to hold my chain. So on goes one and on goes the other. So now I've made the pot and it's dry, you can see here it's still clay and behind me you can see that the microwave is on. That's because I have one of these kilns inside the microwave at the moment and you can get these on Amazon, they're about £30 and this inside part heats up loads in the microwave to over a thousand degrees so you've probably seen me firing pottery in the microwave as well. We don't want it quite that hot, we want it about 600 degrees and what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat bathe this little pot just like a blowtorch, but a lot safer. I'm going to heat bathe it until all the clay burns away and just metal is left. This is a really good example of how I heat bathe the pot. So if you're having trouble bisking your pottery, this is actually how the heat bathe works. And you'll see that the clay burns away, leaving the silver just like the moisture would burn away, leaving a pot that's safe to put in the microwave. So hopefully the microwave is going to ping behind me in just a moment and I'll show you it in action. So this one's just an example and it's cold, so it hasn't been in the microwave yet, but the one that's in the microwave is going to be very hot, so I'm going to use pinchers to do that. And I've got to get the vase ready. Hopefully it's cracked off the back. Yeah, there you go. You can see it's dried off nicely, ready to go in the kiln. So in a moment, I'm going to take the vase off of here and put it on the platform, then bathing it with heat. Hopefully all of the clay will burn away, leaving just metal. Fingers crossed, I've never done it before, so I don't know if this will work. I'm a bit reticent to put it in the microwave, because there's metal in the microwave. Here we go, so I've got my kiln shelf ready, I've got my tongs. So under here you can see it's very, very hot. I'm going to put the bars on the platform. And then I'm going to lower it over the top, keep bathing it, seeing what happens. Fingers crossed, all the clay will burn away, leaving just the metal. Let's have a look. Oh, you can see it's burning, it's a bit of smoke. Obviously, we're doing it outside. And take it up. Oh, that hasn't got hot enough yet. So let's see what happens when it goes in the microwave. I'm going to do it three minutes. We'll see you in three. So it's not doing the cracking noises that I would expect from putting metal in the microwave. So we'll find out what's inside. Who would have thought you could put metal clay in the microwave and make jewellery? Could be a whole new form of pottery. Here she comes. Changing the world. Oh my gosh, where is it? Oh no, it's in there. Panic. Do that again. <laughs> <gasps>
I could be nervous. And I'm going to film that again, not because I'm embarrassed, which I am, but just to say that I can make it look like I know what I'm doing. It is important to see how dangerous this could be. Obviously this is flammable, this is just a kiln shelf, so that's the only thing that's protecting the heat from the, fl fl from the flammable things. Um, so there is a degree of risk here, you should be wearing all of the safety precautions, but because I'm doing a video, I wanted to make it so that you could see what I'm doing, and because of this is the first one I've ever done, I wanted to make sure that I could see what was going on. So let's get it out. quite white but it's like because it's hot oh where the tongs have touched it you can see there's a little glimmer of silver so maybe we'll leave it to cool and we're going to give it a wash and see what comes out now i'm in totally uncharted territory here i actually don't know if i should be cleaning it with water or something else so if there's any jewelers out there that know a magic solution to use that would be great but you can see it is actually starting to look silver there's some silver under there it's worked and there's definitely something that you could use to do this better but i'm scrubbing away with just a normal scourer to get that silver to show keep going till all the white layer has come off and you'll see that a nice shiny silver appears through the white and I'll slow it down here so you can really see it's solid silver now. I can't quite believe that it's worked and I had to record over this because I was making lots of noises. But here I am threading the chain into it, ready to wear my first ever hand-thrown precious metal clay pottery necklace. It's a bit of a mouthful but I'm really excited that it exists. So that's out with some PMC clay, a small wheel, and a wish and a prayer, maybe a microwave, I've managed to make a solid silver necklace out of pottery. If you want to get some PMC clay, it's here is a brand, here is also a brand, and here is another brand. They come in all different metals, but what happens is the clay turns into a solid metal.